In this video, we're going to go over the top five problems on this third generation Hyundai Santa Fe. Now there's nothing wrong with this vehicle. There's nothing wrong with owning one or buying one. Every vehicle has their problems. These are the top five that we have found. Number one, the crankshaft position sensor. Now it's located way back here. You can see the wire right there coming down, right behind my hand there. And that's what's gonna read the crankshaft position or where the engine is positioned so the computer knows when to add fuel and spark. Now, the symptoms you're gonna notice when that's bad is your vehicle's gonna stall randomly or the vehicle won't start at all. It may crank, but it just will not start. Most of the time, the fix for that is just to replace the sensor. Number two, the turbocharger boost control actuator. Now that's located right up here. If you look on the turbo itself, and then there's a rod that goes to where the wastegate would go, and there's an actuator connected to that rod. Some of the symptoms you're gonna find if that actuator is not working properly is a lack of engine power, poor acceleration, and you'll probably have a check engine light with a code P2562. So the fix for that is to replace the actuator. While you have the actuator off, you wanna check that that rod moves for the turbocharger. And if that rod's not moving, chances are it's frozen on the turbocharger and that's gonna to need to be replaced. Number three, the backup camera. Now the backup camera is located right here. And the symptoms you're gonna find is it doesn't work. Uh, when you go to shift in reverse, the screen is just blank. The most common fix for that is the backup camera itself. Just replace it. Number four, front hub bearing assemblies. Now the bearing assembly is what actually attaches the wheel to the vehicle. And sometimes they get loose and when you're going down the road, you may hear like a helicopter noise or some type of grinding noise and it's actually coming from the bearing itself. When you turn the wheel left to right while you're going down the road, you may notice the pitch changing and most of the time that's the hub bearing itself. You can raise the vehicle up, grab the top and the bottom of the wheel, give it a shake. If you see significant play, most likely it's the hub bearing assembly. Number five, the knock sensor. Now the knock sensor is located underneath the intake. You wanna double check certain engines may have a different configuration. But with the knock sensor, you probably won't notice any drivability issue but you'll notice a check engine light with a code P0326. Now when you get that code, you could try clearing it and seeing if it comes back, but most likely you need to replace the knock sensor. So there's our top five problems for this Hyundai. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.